Hey, how you doing, YouTube? This is your boy Brogy Narc back again with another episode of Brogy Narc on Films. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving my spoiler review of Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. I'm here with my brother Wes. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. Yes, and we're gonna get into this one real quick, but before we do that, go if you don't want spoilers, check out the non-spoiler review on my IGTV on my Instagram page. Link is in the description. And before we get into it, also, let's just give our grades of how we felt about this movie. I give it a goose egg and an F. Goose egg and an F. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. Goose egg and an F. I'll give this Deuce 4 out of plus. 10 D+. Plus. That's where I'll go. All right. So those were our grades for this fucking movie. So let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. I know you are heated, and I'm getting heated, mm. too. Uh, so, at the beginning of this movie, this movie does not pull any punches. At the beginning of the movie, soon as the title crawl goes, it's like, oh, Palpatine, he's here. And it's like, wait, what? No, nah, bitches, it's a party. Yeah, they, they do not ease you into it. The beginning no, of the shit is... No kiss, no lube, no dinner. Yeah, they just, wow, Palpatine's here, and fist. he's fucking up. And then... Oh, fist. And it's weird, because they, they, they put in the text, he's, there's like a message of Palpatine, and people are not sure if it's real or not. And you're kind of like, ooh. Well, at least for me, I'm like, oh, is no. this going to be like a conspiracy? Maybe Palpatine's not around. Nope. Three minutes after that... He's on screen talking to Kylo like, I want you to work for me and da da da. I'm like, wow. He like, he like outsourced him. Basically. Yeah. yeah. The movie starts off, Kylo is um, fighting some people and he gets this prism. And then he, he goes to a where plan. to go to find Palpatine. Yeah, and then he goes there and Palpatine's in this device and he's like, I'm around and I want you to work for me like your grandfather did. And I'm like... It was kind of like... It was weird. It was like kind of like a piece of thread hanging off of a really big crane that puts buildings Yeah, because he's like in this device and it's like, okay, it was, imagine, imagine this is, my arm is the crane and the bottle is Palpatine and it's like dragging him around. You need something smaller than that. Well, yes, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true, but that's true. Okay, more, maybe more like this cap and then this, yeah, this big yeah, ass crane that's, that's and it's like good. That's moving really him, good. well, it's more like, and he's like moving him around as he talks. Yeah, it is. So, fuck, fuck, so that's crazy. the beginning of the movie. Palpatine's here and he wants Kylo to work for him. And if you remember Kylo, which was bugging me, if you remember Kylo from The Last Jedi, what did he say? He said, Jedi and Sith suck, get rid of it. So he's face to face with King Sith. He only has one line where he's like, I should kill you. And then he's like, no, don't kill me because I got fucking ships. He pulls like 5,000 Star Destroyers out of the ground. And he's like, yeah, I've been chilling for the past 50 years, and I got this army, I got this fleet of ships. I only thought it was a fleet of ships, but we find out he's got a whole fucking army just yeah. chilling yeah. for the past 40 years, just yeah. been hanging out. You know, that makes no sense. Thing. New orders around, he's like, yeah, I got my own army just chilling out. La, 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 and they don't la, explain la, that la, at all. La, it's just, la, 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 la. I'm just, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm Palpatine, I got shit, you know. I'm, I got, I got I'm, power. I got electricity, bitches. No, he doesn't. He's weak. He doesn't have electricity. He had electricity. He gets electricity by the end of the movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look, we'll get into oh, that. He didn't pay his electric bill. He didn't pay his electric bill. For 40 bill. years. So, so what do we go for? that? But he can build ships. Oh, right. Poe, okay, yeah, so Poe and Finn and Chewie and a slug. They never explained the slug. It's just a slug. I don't think he even said his name. Mm -mm. He's just there. He was in Classic Star Wars when random aliens pop up, but at least explain something. Like, who is this guy? Anyway. So they're on a mission, they're trying to track some information down, and they're still lonely. Like, there's, there's still a small group, like at the end of um, Last Jedi, and they're still ragtag, and they're trying to get things together or whatever. And Ray has been training, I guess, I'm, I'm assuming it's like at least a year, maybe, or, or two. It was like, it was like, um, what is it? CrossFit slash Orange Theory for Jedi. Yeah, basically. and apparently she was being trained by Leia. Leia. Leia was training her because apparently Leia's a Jedi. Or at least that's what I thought. I'm like, when the fuck did Leia become a Jedi? Well, apparently we find out Leia's a Jedi. Luke trained her. Side note. That was a side note. Yeah, that comes in later in the movie where they're like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, oh, okay, Leia just, was a Jedi. Again, pulling shit out of their asses, creating farting. Was a, she was a Jedi. Farting. If she was a Jedi, then what was the whole point of getting Luke if... If she was, if she a, was Jedi. a Jedi, couldn't she do what Luke would do? Because hmm. apparently she's more. They kind of hint that she's more powerful than Luke. Yeah. 
I mean, she did survive the vacuum of space, and then yeah. they have that flashback where they're yeah. training, and she, like, you she know, kicked his ass. kicks his ass a little bit. Yeah. Which, the special effects on Luke look good, but the special but effects on Leia, Leia not, like butt. Not, not that good. Not that good. Look like um, can't get Carrie Fisher's face No, right they, well, she has a, no offense, she has a strong face. She has a very distinctive face. But when she was younger? Yes. She, she, even when she was strong, even when she was younger, she had a, a distinctive face. She was an attractive woman. She was not a typical Hollywood classic beauty. Let's not, let's not hype things up. I'm just saying, her face, her okay. structure of her face I is see what unique. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of hard to make it look like Carrie Fisher because her face is so unique. I'm not saying, oh... Uh, it looked better yeah. in the last movie, though. Or in the... In uh, um, uh, Rogue One? Rogue One. I, thought. I hated it in the Rogue it One, but you're right. It did. In Rogue One it did. And it I thought did it looked, in this movie. I, I was like, like... Yeah. I thought they would have fucking improved it. Yeah. You're not wrong because I thought it was trash in Rogue One, but seeing it in oh, this, it was even worse. God. But anyway... I was like, really, guys? So Ray's been training, which all, that's all I ever wanted was Ray, Ray to get some training. But... Where do we go from? They go on another mission. What the fuck was going on? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, Kylo is now working for the Emperor, or he's posing to be working for the Emperor. Poser. And, and he's, like, destructing things or whatever. Evil and then poser. Yeah. And then him and Ray still can do the long-distance force Jetting. talking. Yeah. And they've been doing this kind of off. Or maybe he hasn't done it in a while, because she seemed really shocked when he did it in this movie. Like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. But anyway. So. They were having... Force sex. No, they weren't. They were having force. Um, uh, I'm just gonna call phone it what sex. it is. Because it wasn't actual sex. It was just like phone. Like he's. They like, could actually touch each other if they wanted to. Remember? Well, how he yeah. pulled that thing off of her neck. Yeah. Yeah. They so, were having force sex. There was a moment where there's some. So yeah, they're going. They're on a mission, and they're on this planet, and there's some aliens doing the cha-cha slide. I love that. That was great. They went to Burning Man, and there was there was there was an aliens line dancing in this movie. I I I thought that was great. I I love that personally. So they're on the place. They run into Lando because Lando's just chilling on this planet. Now me, I thought Lando would have became a big politician. But apparently Me he's too. But he's just been chilling out Me on this too. planet because it was like him and Luke were on a mission. They were trying to find this ship, and they couldn't find it. So Luke was like, "Fuck it, I'm going into exile." And then Lando was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna chill out on this planet." I guess I don't know, but Lando's hanging Lando out. Lando ain't got nothing else better to do than chilling out with some people. Um, so, excuse me, some aliens. Yeah. On a planet. And he teaches them the cha-cha slide. He was potting it up. Yeah, basically. So they tracked down this, 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 this. They needed to find um, was these a, devices, which are basically um, like pr maps. pyramids. They're prisons, yeah. but they're basically like maps to find the planet that Palpatine is yeah, on. Yeah, because he's on this secret planet and no one can find it. There's only two of these devices. Kylo had one, and Leia, uh, Ray was trying to find the other one. But the ship belonged to this alien who was a Jedi hunter, yeah. which was confusing to me because I'm like, well, how was he a Jedi hunter? There was only like one Jedi, and that, or I guess two now. It was just Luke and Leia. So who the fuck was he hunting? Anyway, he's a Jedi hunter, and he he had the access key, which was on his knife. They find they eventually get to the knife, which was written in Sith, Sith language. Sith language, which C3PO could. Um, decipher. decipher, but he could not tell it. He couldn't. De he could decipher. Well, no, he couldn't decipher. He it. could decipher well, it, yeah. but he could not repeat he it couldn't repeat because it. it was a part of his program. Because the plot which says is very so. convenient. The plot says he couldn't do it because I guess the it's illegal to trans uh, transcribe um, Sif for androids. So yeah, that's a plot the, point. Yeah. Um, which I actually like having. They didn't have the right app. Yeah, exactly. But he's an old model, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> good point. I like that. C I liked C three how C three PO played into this story because he was actually, actually good. He was the takeaway from this movie for me. Yeah, C three PO was the only good thing about this movie. I would say him and Lando. Okay, him Lando, him, and, Lando the, and the black girl and and like all that. the black people. Yeah, black people. 3C, 3PC, 3C, P, right, him, him, gold robot, gold robot, black people, black people, Star Wars, Star Wars, done, good, so, oh, but no, 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 even before that, that was, this was one of the big things, remember when they was in the what? cave, when they fell, they, oh, they fell into the quicksand after this attack, they got attacked Ugh. by stormtroopers with jetpacks, such an easy way out, so they fall into this cave, and then there's this big, like, centipede snake thing, 
Which looked really cool. Which looked really good. Some of the creatures look good because they yeah. use a good blend of practical and um, CGI. But it's this big snake monster. And they don't know what to do, but Ray, she's, you know, she's force sensitive. She realizes that there's something wrong with this creature. The creature is wounded. So wounded. It's wounded. So Ray, um, random. Ray, Ray just heals it with the force <gasps> because that's what the force does now. Not only can you make, you can talk to each other through the force. Not only can you make highly uh, realistic. Um, holograms of yourself that even droids can see it across the galaxy. And my, and, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right, okay. But now you can just heal people with the force. Mm -hmm. You can just ah, and then they're healed. So she does that. Snake leaves. That's how they find the knife. So then they're trying to escape. They, they're inside the ship, and she senses Kylo's coming, and he's just coming because he he just wants to say hi. So mm -hmm. she's over there dealing with What's Kylo, up, girl? basically, and he's like flying towards, her and she cuts his ship. Um, meanwhile, Chewbacca was going to do something. He gets arrested by the, uh, Empire. Oh, not the Empire, the Fallen Order. So he's getting taken away. Okay, this is the best. This is the, this was the moment I laughed so hard at this moment. So... It pissed me it off. Pissed, it pissed him it, off. It got me. I was and, just And you like, called it. You so called it. It didn't actually happen, but you, but you, I you called, called it. it. So... Um, the ship is flying away, and Finn is like, Ray, they got Chewbacca. So... She's looking at Kylo, right? And she just starts using the force, and she's pulling, she's pulling the, ship the ship back. back and I'm laughing. I'm like, what? I'm like, wow, this Whoa. is amazing. They are not, they're like, Rey is the most powerful Jedi ever. She's pulling the ship back. Then Kylo's there, and he's- He's pulling the ship his direction. He's either pulling it his direction, or he's pushing it from either way. So they're fighting over it. She's pulling it so hard, that's out of nowhere, Ray shoots. She turns into storm. She yeah, she did. She Lightning into, shoots out of her hands. She shoots blue. and the ship explodes. She, blew, she killed Chewbacca. I she was killed Chewbacca, and I said to him, when they caught Chewbacca, I was like, oh lord, if they kill Chewbacca, I'm gonna walk about this fucking. So theater. the ship explodes. Explodes. The, the, the theater is quiet. I'm la I'm in the back of the theater no, laughing my was, ass you off. You were laughing, and then other people started laughing. Were they laughing? And then and then. No, you started the whole laughing thing. Yeah, I did. No one was laughing. Nobody until was you laughing. Started laughing. I started laughing throughout the rest of the movie. Yes, but then <laughs> I saw people walking out. Did, 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 some people did leave, didn't they? I saw a lot of people walk people out. People were walking out. Okay. People were walking. You the mentioned fuck that. Out. You did mention that. The people that were sitting next to us. Yeah, on, our road, on the other side, they left. Right. Four or five people. Yeah, were they like, left. Peace. Yeah, they dipped out. So I'm dying because I'm like, wow, this movie just killed Chewbacca. Spoiler alert, he's not dead. Somehow they um, they used the, the the teleporter technology from Star Trek and beamed him off the ship before it yeah. exploded. And so that's they, the only way you can J. explain J. that. J.J. Abrams used Star Trek technology... Yes, to save Chewbacca. ...for Star Wars. That's the only way you can explain that. ...in order to save Chewbacca that's the only because only way he's directed both franchises. Right, because apparently Finn was like, well, maybe they use a different ship. I'm like, there was, there was, this, no, there was there that one, one ship. ship Unless it was a skate pod. I don't know. Anyway, so they think Chewbacca's dead, but he's being held prisoner on the ship. And so, they find out really quickly, actually. No, not that dead. quickly. Well, I mean, they, So what happened? Oh, yeah, so they need <laughs> someone to get the information out of C-3PO's head. So they go back to uh, Poe's old hometown or a place he used to hang out with hang out at to go meet this guy that can get it out of c 3 Phil's head. And they run into, what was her name? Ziri, I think was her name. Zuri. Zuri, played Zuri. by uh, Carrie, Russell. Carrie Russell. And you never see her fucking face. Not really. You, she you opens see the helmet eyes, a little bit. But that's it. Yeah, you see about and this the only, And face. whenever you see a movie or mm -hmm. a commercial or any advertisement right. where all you can see is the person's eyes, right. factoid. You cannot get paid in the Screen Actors Guild unless your eyes are seen, at oh, least. Wow. So the fact that they had Carrie Russell in this movie for all of like 10 minutes total, and yeah. she just got to show her if eyes, that. and they made such a big deal in all of the, like the, the promos of her yeah, being in the in film, this movie, yeah. I'm wondering what of her ended up on the cutting room floor. Yeah. Because well, apparently a lot of people ended up on the cutting room floor. Cause um, what's his name? The guy from um, Matthew Smith, I think he played one of the. Um, I'm kidding. He played one of the. Uh, what, do they, what do they call that thing? The British thing. Um, 
the British thing? Doctor Who. He's not in this movie. He didn't, and I saw there was like, apparently they cut him out because they didn't know what they were doing. Like I said, there was numerous cuts to this film. <sighs> so, so they go to the planet, they get help, and we, oh yeah, we also find out that Poe used to be a uh, drug trafficker or a spice runner. Um, spice so runner. he's got that little bit of From roguish. Dune. Yeah, right? He had the, exactly. <laughs> um, he had the, um, so he, you know, he's got a little bit of a past, and him and uh, Kay Russell used to have a thing or whatever. So they're like, well, if we, do this if we get this information out of C3PO's head, he's gonna get mind wiped and he's not gonna remember anything. They oh, do wait, it. Side note. What? The other thing I liked what? What was, was the thing? fact oh. that there was there was like Ray and Zuri having their sisterhood moment. What was that? Not that it matters, but I like you. It matters. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, so yeah, because as soon as they get on the planet, that's right, that's right. That was weird because the planet was being um, under occupation by the First Order. And she was going to turn them over. And then Poe's like, don't turn us over. And then once she saw that Rey was a Jedi, I guess she was like, all right, oh, I'm not going to turn okay. you over. All right. Because she was dead set on turning these people over. Yeah. But don't worry about it. She's good. Yeah, so while they're working on that, that's when Ray senses that Chewbacca is still alive. So her, Poe, and Finn, once they get the information, they sneak on to... No! No, this was the dumb shit. No, 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 no. She was talking... That's right. Zuri was talking to Poe. And mm -hmm. she's like, I got a coin. So Essentially, I have this. I have a magic coin. It was like a fucking token. I have this coin. It comes from a general. I can put it on my ship, and no matter what ship it is, the first order will just allow you to dock on one of their star destroyers. Security. Remember? Security. Remember this. So she, at the last moment, she's just like, even though she was a scoundrel, she's like, you know what? I really believe in you guys. Poe, take the coin. So they Security. take, she, he pets the coin in the thing, and then somehow that it just allows them to dock on the and, uh, and, the Star Destroyer, and then they sneak off and then try to go get Poe, uh, go get Chewbacca. No alarms. No, no alarms off, or nothing. nothing. But then the one guy who was also really good, what was his name? Who, what is the, um, the, the general? The, the Grand Moff talking to this film, because he was fucking good. He was like straight up classic Star Wars. I don't know who that actor is, but goddamn, he was really good. R Richard E. Grant, he was like uh, General Pride. He was great, Richard E. Grant. That guy was amazing. He comes in and he sees this random ship on the starship. He's like, whose ship is this? Who the fuck let this land? And I'm like, yeah, exactly. So, and it's like classic OG, like Star Wars one, where like they're running through the ship and they're Killing, shooting star, storm shooting troopers. Shooting the shit out of stormtroopers, which was awesome. I that was that. my favorite part of the movie. That was great. So, now, remember, Kylo is the most powerful, at, uh, second most powerful Sith in the planet at this point. And he can connect with Rey throughout light years throughout the galaxy. They're on the same planet, probably about 30, oh, 40, me, 40 miles. Let me, let me take go this ahead, Go ahead, go ahead. No, finish your thought, but then okay. let me let me do the reveal. Okay. Okay. So right. he's they're on the ship and she's looking for she's she's attracted to something. And Kylo is on the planet with his team looking for her and he's like, I can't find this woman. Normally I would just pop up on her like she does early in the movie. That's out of the blue, pop up on her and see kind of get an idea where she's yeah. at. He's looking like I can't find this woman. So what happened? She goes into the room and sees uh, Vader's helmet and all this other n m memorabilia. Yeah. And then she starts having some feels or whatever. And then that's when Kylo can sense her. I don't know. No, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no. What happened? She found the dagger first. That's right. She found she the dagger. She finds the dagger first. It's in Kylo's room. It's in Kylo's room. And then he says... They're, they're having this conversation, mm -hmm. this entire conversation. It's like, where are and my you? whole thing is, okay, where are you've you? had these force sex conversations before. I can't before. see you. Where are you? I can't see where, where are you? you are. And they start fighting, and they, they're like, they're as fighting, they're slashing, she's cutting things outside. You can he's see where things. he is. Right. You can see where she is, but right. somehow he doesn't know that she's in his fucking bedroom. Which I think they kind of didn't. I think that was in The Last Shadow where he only knew where she was after um, she was on Jakku. But no, that's right. He did know because he looked he around knew. and like she was on Jakku because he was like, wait a second. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that makes no Hot fucking pole. sense. Yeah, that makes no sense. So he gets back on the ship. Uh, Poe and others get arrested. They're about to get killed. 
General uh, Hux, redhead guys there. But you know where this is going. Because oh, early in the movie, they're like, oh, there's a spy. So he pops in just out of randomly, kills the guys. He's like, I'm the spy. And I'm like, yeah, I, I figured. So they, he lets them go. Look, Ky a robber with a gun. Right. So Kylo and Ray are fighting on the ship. And God, what happens? Cause he, oh, he was talking to her. That's right. He he reveals to her, I know who who you are. I know who you. That's are. right. That's what he reveals to her because he's been talking to Palpatine. A, a, a very weird twist on Luke. I am bit. your father. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter, which mm -hmm. I, I guess could work. I didn't think it was that good of a reveal, but sure. It, you could have been handled better. It could have been handled gonna better be, if they were going to be like, oh snap, Palpatine got busy with some chick. That and then the that thing. chick got busy with some dude, and they had a child, had a child. and it ended up being Palpatine's grandchild. Now, was the daughter was his kid, or was the or was the, the boy? Son. The I'm son. I'm sorry, was the, his, son was the son was his. The son was his. The son was his child. Yeah, the son was Palpatine's child. And he ran away and, and knocked up some chick, and so she he reveals to her that you're Palpatine's granddaughter. She doesn't. I, well, apparently he was like, you've been lying to yourself. You knew this the whole time. I'm like, wait, how the fuck did she know? But she, she, she know. she's super she rare. Know. She knows everything. She, so, she didn't know. Yes, yeah, she, she did. She was in denial. She was, well, she, she was in denial. She blocked it out. She blocked it out. Because that's right. Because the ship they were in that was the Jedi Hunter ship. She's like, I remember the ship. Apparently, the Jedi Hunter is kind of like... um. Yondu, actually, yeah. like Yondu in Guardians 2, where he was working for the powerful guy and he was supposed to bring the kid back. He, he was sent to, yeah. Yeah, he was like, no, nah, I'm not going to send the kid. I'm going to drop the kid so off. So basically, so they ripped off this Guardians movie 2. is an amalgamation that. of every space movie that has been out recently. It, it kind of is. With a little bit of the Carol Burnett show thrown in <laughs> for extra measure. <laughs> and if you so, don't know who Carol Burnett is, Wikipedia her. So what, okay, so what happens after? So they get away, and I think that's when no that was later when um old, old girl died so um what did they do after that what happened that i'm trying to remember, remember what happened after that oh i was so frustrated god exactly <laughs> what happened after that <laughs> a oh, lot of shit happened that's right they they, they 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 coded the message and it was they had to go get the other um tracker that was on oh, yeah. one of the moons of Endor. The moon of Endor. No, it wasn't the moon. It was another uh, moon of Endor. The wreckage of the Death Star was on this other oh, moon. Oh, I thought that was the actual No, it was moon. a different moon. Oh, okay. There was right, multiple okay. moons. It was a different oh, moon. Okay. So they go to this planet. It's like Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Mm. And that's when they run across this other group led by, what was her name? Some chick. The black girl. What was her name? Ja nay. Jana, played by uh, Naomi Aki. And she's like, she's 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 female Finn. She's what Finn should have been. Um, her and her whole group. Thank you. Were a group of stormtroopers because the storm the the first order has been stealing kids and forcing them into servitude as stormtroopers. And her and her whole team rebelled, and then they ran to this planet, and they've been hanging out. And she's awesome. I, I thought she was. I was worried about her because I forgot she was in this movie. She comes in like. In the third beginning of the third act is when they yeah. pop up. So, and we could have used them a lot sooner. Yeah. So she and her and Finn hit it off because they basically have the same back. So the only thing is she's actually competent and knows how to do things. And it took two movies for Finn to get there, but he, like I said, Finn's good in this movie. So they're hitting it off. That's actual Sorry. good chemistry between him and this girl, more so than him and Rose or him and uh, even Ray, really. Yeah. Which is weird that they didn't really lean into that because I. I mean, it's like, oh, the two black people get together, but like... That's what I actually, kept thinking, too. I was like... It would have like, worked. I wonder... It would have worked, actually, but... I wonder if they're going to go the interracial route, or if right. they're going to go, they go no the route. same route. That would, that would make... You would have to make a decision, and they went nowhere, so... Oh, um, they went somewhere. No, they didn't. Oh, oh well, yeah. you're talking about with Ray? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they so, went somewhere, all right. So, uh, Ray, they're like, all right, we got to build a ship or get the ship together so we can go there but Ray goes on her own and she tracks down the device but um what's his name Kylo's track is following her too and Kylo really wants her to, to turn to the dark no side. no she doesn't want him to turn to the dark he doesn't he, want her he wants her to join him because right. he's planning on attacking um Palpatine, Palpatine himself which either Palpatine realizes this and doesn't care or Palpatine he's just knows. playing past he's Palpatine playing past knows. it right yeah so they get into this big fight, and she, uh, it was, the fight was pretty cool. Hold on. 
Palpatine knew exactly what he was doing because he was using Kylo, Kylo Ren to, Ray to bring to, her yeah, to, bring, to him. Yes, right. That's right. You're right. You're absolutely right. He was just the pawn. He was the pawn. Even though he was kind of hyping him up, but yeah, he was yeah. he was using him. So they get into this fight on the bri on the ship, on the wreckage. It's all this water, and Ray was whoop. She whooped his ass. Like they was holding down, but then she does a move where she ends up stabbing Kylo with his own, with lightsaber. His own lightsaber. She she stabs him with his own lightsaber. But to oh. her credit, yeah. but to his credit though. Yeah. He was distracted by Leia. Oh, that's right. That's right. Leia was on her planet. Because he was actually kicking her ass. He was fucking her up. And then Leia was chilling out on her planet, which I have to say, the amount of footage that they had of Carrie Fisher, they did a damn yeah, good job of manipulating it to make, to make her... It look like she was in the movie. She was kind of in the movie. Like, it yeah. wasn't as bad as I, I feared it was, but so... They managed not to fuck that up. For the most part, yeah. For they the did. most part. Yeah, for yeah. the most part. So she um uses the force and calls out to Ben and he gets like distracted. And then that's when Ray stabs him with the lights with his own lightsaber. Because I think he dropped it and she caught it and stabbed him. Simultaneously right? Leia dies. At the exact same time, Leia dies because She's old, and Carrie Fisher is dead, so we don't really have any more footage. So that's the end of her footage. And we just had to kill her off. Right, and so everyone's instead you know, of just having her go off to an old folks' home. Nah, so she's, you know, she's dead, and everyone's kind of like, oh, that's sad. But then Ray stab after she stabbed Kylo. Kylo's about to die. I'm like, well, damn, they're about to kill Kylo too. Nope. Remember, Ray can heal. Ray can people. heal me with the Force. So she heals this man with the Force because she low key loves him. So she heals this man. And then after that, she dips out, steals his ship, and goes to see Palpatine. And so the others, once they realize she's gone, they get off the planet and they go back to the base. Then that's when everyone else finds out that Leia's dead. Which I was about to cry because Chewbacca's reaction, that was so sad. He, that was, whoever was acting as Chewbacca, he did a great job when they told him Leia was dead. And he was just pissed. I was like, oh, boy, I Chewbacca. Could, I, I couldn't. I could not. I was. I, I was not affected. I was by, affected by that. The feels got to be on that one. I, I I was not affected by any of the the emotional aspects of this film that were supposed to be. That was the one that got me because of everything else that was going on. And I do believe that they could have, <clears throat> in mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. maybe handled Leia's death a little, a bit, little bit better than what they did. Right, right. So after that, Ray goes back to uh, Jakku. And she's just pet Jakku, where where Jakku. Luke was hiding out, and she destroys uh, the Tie Fighter, Ray, uh, Kylo's Tie Fighter, and she's just mad. And you know what's about that? Oh yeah, so she takes, <laughs> so she takes the lightsaber. Somehow she has Luke's lightsaber. Because remember, I was like, how did she get Luke's lightsaber? Because it got destroyed in the last movie, and you was like, she rebuilt it. Yeah, I don't think she, she did. Must have. I don't think she, she doesn't. I don't or think is she that knows. A plot hole? I'm I'm counting as a plot hole because they never all the Jedi all yeah, of the Jedi they build their own technology they build and shit. their own lightsabers right why would she reconstruct Luke's lightsaber they always build their value. own nah I'm not buying that one bullshit that's so, the only reason that makes no I would sense say she nah. built it herself she so it. she throws the lightsaber <laughs> and this was the biggest diss to Rhea Johnson but I call I still call fuck you um, I do too Ghost uh, Luke comes up catches the lightsaber and he's like. This is a respectable item. You shouldn't throw it around or something like that. And I'm like, nah, that was funny, but also fuck you. So he talks to her and he's like, what did so he? So basically, J.J. Abrams yeah. can take that lightsaber that he took out of, that he shoved up Ryan Johnson's ass and shove it up his own ass. Yeah, basically. So just saying. Luke comes in and he's like, hey, Shame. Ray, you're awesome. Don't get down. You don't, because she was, you know, Damn. yeah, he was like, you have everything you need. And then she gets, because she destroyed the ship, but conveniently she didn't destroy the tracker. So she used that tracker, but she doesn't have a ship. Well, remember that ship that Luke, his tie, his uh, X-Wing that he had oh at the bottom gosh. of the water? He raises it from the watery grave ghost for, Luke, Ray, for Ray as used. a force ghost. So now as a force ghost, Luke has risen the ship, and now we get classic Star Wars because Ray is now wearing Luke's helmet throughout the rest of the movie. So you can get that iconography there for you. So she takes Luke's ship and flies it to um, the planet. The planet. That 
Palpatine, Palpatine is, is hiding on. Grandpappy. Right. And yeah, when she's Grand flying, it, she sends a message to the others and so they can follow the path to get to the planet. Now, this is when the fuckery really comes in. If this wasn't already fuckery, we go oh, back. Wait, 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 wait. What? You forget something. What? what I, I got to handle this. What did I forget? Knights of Ren. Oh, Okay, shit. out of nowhere, right? So Knights of Ren come back. And they they walk through one scene, and then, then the someone the says, "Oh, Knights of Ren." Yeah, yeah. What and if- then <laughs> you don't see them, and then all of a sudden <laughs> they pop back up. They pop back up, and then when, they when Chewbacca was being, they were stalking Chewbacca, I think. Yeah, that's when yeah, he got arrested. Yeah, they were stalking Chewbacca. When he got arrested. And then they appeared on the planet where they was, met um, uh, Zuri. Zuri. Um, Carrie Russell's Carrie character. Russell's character. They're just looking for they were shit. just like walking around in the background. from scene to scene. Yes. Yeah. And then later weird. in the movie they pop up and I'm like, yeah, and it's like, here we are again. Oh, we're here. Who are you guys? I swear to God, I, I, one of my biggest complaints about the last Jedi was who the fuck is the Knights of Ren? And I have to say, they gave us more context for the Knights of Ren in that movie than they did in this oh, movie. Oh, totally. Because they at least were like they were former students of Luke's school. In this yeah. movie, we get no dialogue besides nothing. One of the stormtroopers. Knights of Ren. Oh my the, gosh. Hey, that's the Knights of Ren. Yeah. Oh, oh. fucking terrible. So anyway, back to not the, even, not even Knights of Ren. Yeah. Just. Oh, those are the Hey, that's the Ren. Oh, shit, that's the Knights of Ren. Where have they been? Where have they we, been? We wonder the same fucking thing. Fucking dumb. So anyway, this is when the real fuckery comes in. <laughs> ben is still on like the it. on the indoor moon planet. Just, I guess, thinking about, you know, his mom's dead. And apparently now he's good, I guess. Who pops up right behind this man? The ghost of Han, Han Solo. Solo. And this was the moment where everyone started, or well, the majority of people started busting out laughing. No, 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 no. I, you know what I, you know, okay, you know how when you're in a crowd, yeah. right, or you're at a rally, and mm-hmm. I'm not going to say any names, but right. like, or at a ball game. Let's right, just right, say yeah. a baseball yeah, game, yeah, yeah. and you hear simultaneous cheers and boos. Mm-hmm. It was a mixture of, uh, and, <laughs> It was. It was very strange. Because I started laughing, and then I said it kind of loud, and I think a lot of people heard me. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Han Solo's a force ghost. And then people just started busting out laughing. And I, we were on totally different yeah. ends of the spectrum. He was laughing at I shit. I was laughing. He was And mad. I was just like. He was just mad. Mm. I was just sitting there like, oh, my God, Han Solo's a fucking force ghost. And they confirmed he's a force ghost yeah. because um, Ben is like, oh, mom's dead. And he's like. I know. I know. Fuck you, movie. Fuck you, movie. So, she yeah. told me she died. Yeah. How do you know that? Oh you're you're a goat. You're a human. You're, you're a human you're being. Not a Jedi. Or maybe he is a Jedi. Because that's one of the other things in this movie. Any character who has any importance conveniently is force sensitive. By that I mean Finn is somehow force Force sensitive. sensitive. Because he, the one of, I guess this is one of the reasons why he can always know where Rey is throughout these movies. That's this weird thing. Finn always seems to kind of know where Rey is. He's just obsessive. Yeah, no. Apparently he's force sensitive. (laughs) Because he could sense, he he starts sensing it. And he literally is like, Rey's. Um, on the ship and then the black girl's like how do you know that and before he says it I'm like because he got the force and he's like because the force and I'm like god damn this movie so uh, a Jedi. I'm yeah. a Jedi you're a Jedi Basically, you're a Jedi we're all Jedi everybody's a Jedi Thank you. So, yeah, right? So, Rey's going to the planet, and she's storming. She gets into the throne room, and you hear a crowd of people. I did not realize that there was a crowd of people in the throne room. It was not a crowd. Okay. It was a a, coliseum. It was a coliseum coliseum of Siths. uh, uh, I guess. Siths. No, it was Siths. Were they? Yeah. Because I thought it was the rule of two, but apparently it's the rule of uh, 100,000, because that's who was sitting in in this room. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Right. He had all this time Mm -hmm. because he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't have a job. He wasn't making any money. That's true. He could not pay his electricity bill. Apparently. But he had a lot of friends. Yeah, that was. To help him build those fucking ships. 100,000 Star Destroyers. Oh my God. Right. So he sends out, before all of that, he sends out one of the Star Destroyers because Star Wars has no fucking originality. You thought Death Star, cool. Uh, Return of the Jedi, we got another Death Star. Okay, okay. Uh, Force Awakens. We got a planet that's a Death Star. Uh, All right, this movie we have a hundred thousand Star Destroyers. But guess what? They're each, all Death Stars. They're all, uh, they're, they're 
all mini Death Stars. Oh. They had Death Star lasers on fifty on a hundred thousand starters. So I was like, come on! It literally blows up a planet. I'm like, God damn it, this movie has no originality. So once that's revealed. It piggybacks everything. Everything. Every fucking thing. Not only does it piggyback everything. Yeah. That it did. It doesn't advance anything. That precedes it. It doesn't advance anything. No. And it borrows from other movies. Badly. J.J. Abrams. God damn. I want to smack you. Damn Abrams. So. What? What? So Palpatine's talking to her, and he's like, "Come on, join, join your grandpa. We can share the grandpa's lap." He's like, "Come on, I just need you to kill grandpa, so then my ghost (laughs) can inhabit you. My ghost force can get inside of you. Right, and then we can, and then I can rule the universe as Empress Palpatine and race." He he basically wanted a sex change. Basically, yeah. He's like, "I just need to go into my granddaughter's body so I can keep living." Yeah, that's basically it. I want to be a chick now. Right, I'm cool with that. He's like. He's not, he's not sexy. He's like, look, I'm fine with being in your body. I'm cool with that. I've been a man I've been for a man. too long. Yeah, let me get inside that. I so, want to know what it's like to be a woman. So before all of that, the, the rebels are coming, and they're like, send. they tell, what was it, Luke? No, it was uh, Lando and Chewie to go out in space and tell other people that we need help. Right. Which is basically the same thing they did in The Last Jedi, and they yeah. clearly were like, fuck you guys, So, but let's do it again. Um, yeah. So and, they're and, fighting. But this time, everybody had plenty of gas. A two, yeah. So they're, was they're doing their thing. And Finn is being good. Once again, him and the girl, they, there was a scene. They're shooting the shit out of stuff. And they figure out a thing where they got to take out a tower or something mm-hmm. to navigation control navigation tower. or some shit. <laughs> so they're doing that. And Ray is still Security. being tempted by um, Palpatine. And... Uh, ben pops shows up. Shows up out of nowhere. He shows up in the TIE fighter. He's back on the planet. He's running through. And then... Keep in mind, yeah. he also threw away his lightsaber after No, his he lightsaber saw... got taken away by, by Ray. No. He, no, he, throw he it away? throws it away after he talks to his it's, it's Force Ghost Ghost daddy. daddy. Oh, that's right. So he has no light. He's got a pistol. And... He, he He's running. He gets stuck in a corner because his buddies, or I'm assuming Wait, that his on, buddies show up. What? The Knights of Ren appear out of nowhere. Yeah, and they start kind of kicking his ass, which, whatever. Which yeah, I'm like, I that could have been done better, too. Yeah, because I'm like, wait, Kylo's not a, he's not lame, but anyway. But so, they made him lame just for Because he's a good moment. guy now, see? Yeah. Anyway, oh, no. Um, so, the whole transference thing that they do with their force powers, Ray senses that Ben is there, which I don't think Pim- Palpatine senses it. Palpatine? Or, yeah, or maybe he didn't care. But, um, so she uses the force transference, and instead of slashing Palpatine, it transfers to Ben. Oh, no! I forgot even more! What? Remember? Oh, my God! This is the other thing. I forgot. When Ray was on the planet with Luke, talking to the Luke ghost, remember, Uh-oh. he was like, hey, I got a present for you. Oh! Oh, that's yes. right. He's like, I got a present for you. Cause we talked about it, but we didn't talk about how we got there. Yeah. He had a hidden passage where he had Leia's lightsaber. lightsaber. Why does he have Leia's lightsaber? Cause she, I think he said Leia gave it to him, and I'm like, why would she give because it to him? Because someone would need it eventually. Not you. Apparently, she not her. doesn't need she it. She don't need it. She but don't she's need a it. Jedi. But she's not a Jedi. Because everybody's a Jedi. But she is a Jedi. But so not a Jedi. Leia's lightsaber was on the planet. That's, so she has two lightsabers. Which I have to say, Leia's lightsaber was a dope ass design. It was. That was a beautiful ass she, lightsaber. She. I don't know why ass, she didn't want it, but she built her ass a swanky very ass elegant lightsaber. ass lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Silver. Oh, it looked pristine. Mm-hmm. I don't know why she didn't want to use it. It was pretty. All, all the time she was losing the, with the new order. Well, they weren't really losing because they were kind of neck and neck and forceful. Anyway, so. Okay, so just like Palpatine didn't pay for his electricity bill. Right. They didn't pay their gas bill. Right. Duh. So she transfers um, the Luke's lightsaber, lightsaber to, ben, to Ben. And then she pulls out Leia's, Leia's lightsaber. lightsaber. So, they get, so they're fighting. He kills the Knights of Ren. Then he comes in to help her. And then Palpatine, once again, life force. Palpatine is like, instead of. He, he just absorbs he their sucks life force. He their life force from and, them. And then he, no, he absorbs a little bit. And then he's like, wait a second. That life force is, is so powerful. It's bringing me back because he, he had some of his fingers was missing. It looked like he had like frostbite or whatever. Was, but like yeah, his, his fingers start frostbite. growing back. And he's like, well, fuck this. I don't have to go inside my granddaughter. I just no, take, no, no, no. I just Ew, take her life force. Gross. The 
Did that not happen in this film? I know. It's just, you did just that, said, I don't have to go inside my granddaughter. Did that not happen in this movie? Let me know in the comments. Did that not happen in this movie? So he starts absorbing their life, life force, and he's starting to come back. And I have to say, the guy that played Emperor Palpatine was great. He's He was great. He's always great. He's crazy. always great. And he's like, ah, I'm back, baby. And then the crowd is cheering. And the so, I mean, the, the, Sith Sith, the Sith crowd, because there's so many Siths now. Um, anyway. All so everybody's sudden. outside, and then starting to get destroyed. Then Lando comes in with the cavalry, and then oh, post, a big ass cavalry. Yeah, and post, it was a weird. What was that moment? It was some line Poe said, and we both looked at each other like that was the corniest fucking thing I've ever heard. It was some line. He was like, "Yeah, baby, we're the re rebellions back," or some dumb shit like that. And it was like that, uh, that seemed yeah. out of character for Poe. But um, and then it like just um, seemed out of character for the whole fucking yeah. Thing. So and and Carrie Russell was there and like so everybody's my mom fighting. Was, our mom our was mom there. was there. Yeah. She was in the background like hell yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. so they're fighting. No, actually, she would have been like, that's not nice. <laughs> What's with all this shoot? Why y'all shooting at each other? <laughs> so put um, that gun down. What what the fuck? Oh yeah. So he's taking Sorry. the life force out of them and then what? I think it was. Ren, the, Kylo was the one that got up first. Kylo right? was the one that got up first, and he, ba Palpatine was basically like, flick, and he went flying. Oh yeah, he threw fell him off down the a cliff. fucking chasm, threw him off the cliff, and he was yeah. gone. That was the end of done. That was Kylo. Kylo was Kylo was done. So you think you're kind of thinking like, is, well, at least I was thinking like, is Ray dead? No, Ray's not dead. Of course, Ray's not dead. Because even uh -huh. though her life force was drained for her, she's fucking awesome. So she gets back up. And she takes Leia and Ben's lightsaber, and um, Leia and Luke's lightsaber. Oh, no, 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 that's right. Palpatine was like, I got lightning. So he just shoots a big old bolt of lightning into the sky and attacks all the uh, rebel ships. And he's, you know, frying all the rebel ships. And then that's when Rey gets up, takes the two lightsabers, and tries to slash him. He throws the lightning at her, so she's blocking him with the X. She's, like, got an X, and she, like, refracts it into his face. And so now he's, what? Foreshadowing. Yeah. She had two lightsabers mm -hmm. in the form of an X. Mm -hmm. Well, what, X chromosome? Is that what that's supposed to be? X-Men, anybody? Nah. Yeah, no. they're like, oh, let's make an X, because that way that'll make people think of X-Men, and then they'll go see the X-Men movie <laughs> when it comes out. Not that they need the fucking advertising, but still. So go he ahead. reflects the lightning back into him, which he could just stop the lightning at any moment. Yeah. Because it's his own going. lightning, but he, he kept, kept going, because he's determined. It didn't work. He ended up killing himself. So Palpatine... <laughs> It's gone. The whole the whole stadium is collapsing. Everybody's dead. All the Siths are gone. They're dead. She she's murdered. Obliterated. All of them. So Cisco, bye bye. What happens after that? So they blow up. The other ships are fallen, and then Lando goes in to save uh, the two black people. I love that moment because they were. I stuck love on how the ship. black man saved. The I black love that. People. That was great. Black people. Black lives matter. So he saved uh, uh, Finn and old girl, and they fly off. And then Ray, how did Ray get out of there? Oh, she didn't. Remember, she died. No, no, no. She got out. <laughs> no, Ray got out of there. I can't remember how she got out of, off the ship. How did she get off the ship? What ship? The 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 the, the or oh, the, the throne room. How did she get out of the throne room? She died. Ben crawls out of the chasm that he was flicked into, and he walks over to her. And he sits down. And oh, she's God, like, that's right. She's all, like, dead and shit. That's and right. And he's like, oh, no. And she's they dead. Kiss. Wait, hold on. Not quite yet. He He's like, no. That's oh, right. Oh, no. He cradles her. And he's like, no. That's right. She can't be dead. I'll take this from here. Please do. She can't be dead. I forgot about this. And then he hugs her. He pulls her close. <laughs> and then he looks at this her This is your again. favorite part. <laughs> and then he's like. Then he pulls her close again. <laughs> and then he pulls back. And, then he and lo and behold, guess what? He brings her back to life. Yeah, he Because of the life force. He transferred. Because that was a that was a technique he knew nothing about, but apparently. And then. Yeah. And then they look into each other's eyes. And they kiss. Mm hmm And the entire time I'm like. A, he tried to kill you. Yeah, that's what I said. I did say that. Like when they were looking at each other, I was like, hey, "Remember that time when I tried to kill you?" B, he killed his daddy. Remember that time I killed my dad? C, he was fucking with your mind the entire yeah. time. Yeah. So. Yeah. In some aspects, yeah. you could easily say. Yeah. That I forgot about these that. 
three movies. I'm so glad you watched this movie. Are a I, I, fucked I, up, I, twisted, wrong. I blocked call. that out. Yeah. And then he dies. And That's then right. He dies. Then he dies. He no, no, becomes no, no. a force. No, ghost. he didn't just die. He, he went, went out whoosh. old school like Luke. He just faded away. Whoosh. And then, and then Leia, Leia faded, faded away. away. The whole time we're like, what? Why is Leia's body still? Like, nobody yeah, we were like, what the body. fuck? She's a Jedi. She should be gone. She'd be gone. Either gone or cremated her like they did Qui-Gon Jinn in the first one. That's what I thought they were going to oh, do. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, not. why didn't he just because fade away? Because that wasn't really a thing. And then Luke, and then that I don't think that was a thing for Lucas, except for the first movie where it happened to Ben. But I just think that was because they didn't have the special effects to have him get cut in half. What? Abrams being such an old school fan, he was like, "Well, oh, this is having fade away because that's what happens, right?" But anyway, so oh, Abrams. So everybody goes back, and they're like, "Oh, we saved the day, and the universe is now hearing about it." So everybody's celebrating, and we go to like I think maybe Cloud City, and people are celebrating. Mm-hmm. We go to see some Ewoks on the one of the forest moons of Endor. Why couldn't they have been in the movie? Because we don't really need them, but they were in the movie. Oh, they no, were like, no, "Hey, I mean, like, doing some shit." They can see the ship. <laughs> Um, falling, falling from where they yeah, were. from where they were. So they were like, "Yay!" And then they go back to the base, and everybody's like, "Yeah!" Poe's like, "Yeah!" And and, and him and Finn are like, "Oh yeah!" yeah. Like, him and Finn became uh, co-generals, which whatever. Yeah. So which I was fine, but they worked well together. They did. And for some, this is when you went to the bathroom. So what happened was, um, the right. black girl oh. sat down beside Lando, and Lando looks at her. And he's like, Oh God, it's his daughter. No, 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 no. That's why I, I feared it was going. She was like, he was like, so where do you come from? And she's like, uh, I don't really know. Cause you know, she's was taken as a child and whatever. Mm-hmm. So she's like, I don't really know. No, no, no. She asked Lando, where are you from? He was like, I'm from such and such. And he's like, where are you from? And she's like, I don't know. And then Lando looks at her and he's like, well, maybe we can find that out together. And I'm like, that was random. So, in my mind, knowing Lando, I think he smashed that girl. I think he banged her. I really he do. He was hitting on I think, her. I think Lando smashed. So, that happened. And then... Um, and I'll then help we, you find out. So, then it's a wipe. And then we go... Yeah, it was... I swear to God, that's how it was. Lando was like, well, maybe we can find that out together. And then everyone's celebrating. And then I think Finn talked to Rose for a little bit. It was some weird thing. So, anyway, we go back. We go even farther back. This is where you miss some of this. We go back to Tatooine. Tatooine! And um, Ray lands on Tatooine at Luke's old home, which I thought was destroyed. Oh, But yeah. apparently not. I mean, it's raggedy, but no one moved back into it. This is a nice house. So she shows up, and she's looking around. And this it's is when you nice walk. It's a nice house. Yeah, it was a nice house. Luke's uh, Uncle Owen's house, where it was like the the dome, and then there's like the thing down in the circle. It was a nice house. It just got killed by stormtroopers. But anyway, or set on fire by stormtroopers, but no one moved back. So Apparently the house is a force ghost, too. No, the house was, yeah. So (laughs) she's looking around, she slides down, and she, I don't know, she was looking at shit. She goes back up top, and she, for some reason... Uh, takes Luke and Leia's lightsaber, wraps it up, and buries, buries it in, it in the, the ground. Well, this one you came back. Yeah, she yeah. buries it in the sand. And then she turns around, and she kind of, you see it a little bit, but she pulls out her own lightsaber, and it's orange. And my thing was, why didn't she have her moment where she made her own lightsaber instead of having Leia's lightsaber? But anyway, because her lightsaber mm-hmm. kind of looked like the little bit of her staff, but it was, you know, it was an orange, it was an orange lightsaber. Yeah. And some random old lady walks up, and she's like, hey, are you, well, who are you? No one's been on this property in, in 35 years or whatever. What are you doing at that force go? Yeah, yeah. And, she, <laughs> and she's like, oh, my name is Ray. And then she was like, you don't have a last name? Because that was a callback to a scene earlier in the movie where she was talking to that little girl. Yeah. And the little girl, there was an alien. And I she ain't was, got no last name. And she's like, I don't have a last name. So the lady's like, well, what's your full name? And then she looks and she's like, my name is Ray. And then she looks off to the distance, and I'm like, "Don't say it." She yeah. she longingly looks off into yeah. the distance, and then Force Ghost Luke appears, and then Force Luke Force, Force Ghost, Ghost Leia appears. appears, and then she looks back at the old lady, and she's like, "Ray Skywalker." Fuck you. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this movie. I'm pretty sure there's more chicanery, but goddamn, goddamn, this was. Okay, Insane. so three takeaways. I take I, three. You three go. takeaways for me. One, CP3O. Mm-hmm. Black Lives Matter. 
Right. And the sound production was actually amazing. Oh, yeah. The sound production. Yeah. I'll give sound, the sound crew, you tore it up. Yeah. Uh, my takeaways. <sighs> Disney... Is a rat. No, no. Disney had an opportunity to do something amazing. And they have royally fucked this up. Or at least their first run at this. They have What do you mean their first this, run? Their first run. Because this is this trilogy is done. They're going to keep making more movies. The Mandalorian's doing well. So they're not going to let <sighs> Star Wars go. I'm just I saying. I wish they would. Their first run, they royally fucked this one up. This was... This... This ending, this encapsulation of this franchise was not great. Again, you not know, it, it, now now that I'm saying, now I, I take it back. The opening credits shouldn't have been a Band-Aid. Oh, they should have been. The opening credits should have been the trash barge from uh, from Spaceballs. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, they took from everything else. They did. I'm pretty sure there's some Spaceball references in here somewhere. Um, yeah. God damn. Yeah, this was. But uh, if anything, the other thing that I, I get from it is, Ray has a really bad choice in men. Really, really. She only has bad. one choice in men, and that's that's well, Kyla. I mean, well, she's got a lot of fucked up men in her life. That's what I'm saying. She's got two good guys in her life, mm-hmm. Finn and Finn and Poe. She does the friends at Chewbacca. I mean, like, like her father figure is her grandfather who wants to crawl inside of her. Well, no, her father figure is um, Luke, who didn't want to do anything with her, but apparently in this movie, he's like, hey, I loved you the whole time. I'm a force ghost. Yeah, I'm a force ghost. Oh, no, that was the other thing. Speaking of force ghosts, we forgot. That's what the thing we forgot. There was a moment before Ray woke up to get back off the ground to fight um, the Palpatine, she starts hearing all the voices of the different Jedi. You, you are yeah, strong. Yeah, Yoda was like, you are strong in the Force. Uh, you hear Samuel Jackson, Ray, you're the shit. Get your ass up. Motherfucker, get up. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was it was a lot of different Jedi voices. Uh, Luke says something, Leia says something. They were all like, rise, rise, rise. And then that's when she woke up and got the lightsabers and did the thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, the, the at that point, the movie kind of turned into Suspiria. Man, this is this is a fan film. This is this is a high budget fan film. This is the second best Star Wars fan film, because you can tell there is so much fan service in this movie, and it's I don't know it, it's gonna please some people because it's not gonna piss everyone off, but damn, it is it's a mess. Like there's certain parts they could have kept. You know, it's, it's a jumbled up mess. Like I said, like Justice League, where it's like you can clearly tell there's two different things going on, but with Justice League, there's a two different tones clashing. With this, it's just two. It's like five different ideas clashing, and they don't know which just direction. Five? It could be more, but they're just like they don't know where to go with this, and it kind of shows. Okay, internet, if you're listening. Yes. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this out into the internet, okay? Someone has to do a Cats and Star Wars mashup. Oh God! Why? I'm here for that. You know why? Because the two movies, in a in a sense, kind of complement each other when you really think about it. The whole nonsensical. The whole nonsensical thing. I, I, I need someone. I, I if I Close had the editing down. skills I'm to done. do it, I would do it. But I'm someone, done. if you're listening, that can do it. Please do a mashup <laughs> of this movie and Cats. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be forever indebted to you. So that's uh, our spoiler review of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. The downfall of Skywalker. The, or the downfall of Skywalker. Oh, right. Yeah. Either or. Um, let us know what you thought about the movie in the comments. Uh, hit the like button, share this, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace. Peace. Thanks for having me, bro. And thanks for having me too. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> this I I couldn't have I couldn't have gotten through this without you. This was probably one of the funniest movies we've watched together. Yeah. We had we was we was like mind linking the whole time. Yeah. Like, God damn. I mean we usually do. We but usually this do, was but this very was, different. This, this was, was a different. unique situation. Yeah, we was just on it like bam, bam. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's the review. Thanks for watching. Peace, Peace. out. this thought. I am a slave to the booty.